Now in our continuing series, Running Dry in Arizona's Water Future, the federal government says that they have figured out how to keep the Colorado River flowing at least for a couple of years. Which is great news, but it's not a permanent solution for the states that use the water. 12 News journalist William Pitts takes us inside the fight that's already started. The Colorado River water agreements are expiring, and the massive drought we've had means the Colorado isn't flowing like it used to. If the water level dropped too far, the power plants might stop working, and the water might stop flowing. The Bureau of Reclamation said, go ahead and come up with an agreement. It took months, but the states did, and the Bureau accepted it. Less than 24 hours after announcing the short-term agreement, both sides came out with their own long-term proposals. So essentially, we have competing proposals about how we should manage this river over the long term. Catherine Sorensen with the Kyle Center for Water Policy at ASU says the two policies are drastically different. She says the upper basin states, Colorado, Wyoming, Utah, and New Mexico, want the lower basin states to cut the most water. But Arizona, California, and Nevada want to spread the pain around. So this is all about who has to take cuts when there isn't enough water to go around. Both sides have submitted their proposals. The Bureau of Reclamation has to hold hearings and do environmental impact studies. If there's no agreement, the feds might have to decide, or Sorensen says it could go to court. I'm hopeful that we're not going to go in that direction. Senator Mark Kelly says he's hopeful this doesn't end up in court. I think we can get there uh, to an agreement. It's going to be a little bit of a shared sacrifice between upper and lower basin states. So what does this mean for us? It means for now, there are no more surprise cuts. We're not going to the next level of drought measures. It was a good winter, and water conservation has helped. But Sorensen says even if the water levels are stable, there's no going backwards. The cuts we've already made aren't going away. I'm going to say this and hope that I'm wrong, but I just don't see how this river ever flows in the future like it did in the past. Um, climate change has had a really big impact on the Colorado River. It's unlikely that this river is going to give us as much water as it has in the past. William Pitts, 12 News.